Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. Welcome, Murphy. Thank you for the category update comment. To be fixed now. Erg. Welcome, Chris. Let's talk a little bit in terms of the expectations for the stream. So you may or may not remember, we are literally one room away from the final boss, but there's still a lot to do. Namely, we have to get ready for the four boss rush into the final boss, into the final boss's final phase. So we have six story bosses chat <laughs> between us and the end of the game. However, there are a lot of side quests we didn't do. Thank you, Calvisham, for resubscribing. Um, so we're going to go clean up the possible histories, get a few levels. I might move one of the bonus bosses to after the boss rush. I'm thinking that's what I'll do just to get as many levels as I can. And uh, we'll see where we could take advantage of Rosh. I'm undecided if I want to go for a safe final boss strategy of uh, Aunt Erica to finish them or just go pure man mode. It's basically a new strategy versus an old strategy. I know man mode works. That's how I beat the game the first time. I, I ignored whatever the game tried to get me to do. And I, I just won with uh, Gafka Rosh. So we'll probably be seeing a lot of Gafka... Uh, or not, yeah, Gafka uh, Nash. Gafka Rosh. I said uh, <laughs> I combined their names. I know. It's just like, listen... This strategy only really works because they gave Rosh defense down, which is a big mistake for them, by the way. They should... <laughs> so I can literally just ignore an entire mechanic of the game once he has that. So I either get that with his ultimate or one of his level skills. And once he has that, it's basically GG, because Gafka is already, like, the most damaging character physically. Protagonist could never hope to deal that much damage, ever. Or protagonist. One day, Chan. But anyway, let's go ahead and boot up the game. We're actually surprisingly almost all the way through all of the soundtrack for this game. So we are actually probably going to complete the soundtrack before we beat the game. Let's go ahead and pause the arranged version of the sad song. And let us go into the game itself. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's letting us know the Calvisham has resubscribed again. Come on. I'm like, don't mess with me. I know I click this. There we go. <laughs> I hit launch before I even switch scenes. We're good now. Let me hide this, because this will be distracting to me. I guess we're good to go. Radiant Historia. Perfect chronology. Yeah, stream elements doesn't really acknowledge that I've seen an alert before if I switch scenes. Kinda goofy. So, we are actually a fantastically high level for the protagonist. Like, ridiculously high level. Ooh, even Gafka kinda high level. The only character that isn't high level is Rosh. But Rosh's health kinda makes up for it, to be fair. Okay. So I think I have enough raw health to not have to rely on RNG. Or one of the harder fights of the game. That's a good feeling. Oh yeah, Rosh's experience is garbage. The problem with Rosh uh, from like a, ca like not a casual, but from like a, a expedient playthrough is that he just isn't in the party when you defeat most bosses of the game. So what you get him briefly and he doesn't get experience in between. Yeah. He's kind of awful, so he doesn't get primary experience. I mean, he's pretty good. It's you have to level him. It's just not usually worth leveling him since the other characters are about on par with him or better. <laughs> but we're, we're going to man mode with him later since he's actually gotten some levels. I'm looking for an item here. I might be in the wrong chapter, though. One moment. Hmm, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Okay, I do want to check this. I have four sleep wings. I might use those. I'm not going to use anything else here. Um, I'm out of might herbs, so we're just going to go ahead and buy ten of those. 
<laughs> like that, that I definitely need. Yeah, he's useful technically the first time you play as him, but then like he doesn't level in between, which is really annoying. Gothka is just broken throughout, and Gothka is in more story chapters. I'm looking for one specific thing. I might have to go back to here. I'm just looking for a shop. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to... <clears throat> we'll accept the truce, get the game over. Because I don't want to fight another boss. I just realized where that left me. So we'll save our might herbs. This is fine. No, no, no. This might be good enough for where I'm looking for. I just wanted to get to this item store. Hmm... Yeah, here's the healing fruit. I was looking for this earlier, so we're gonna purchase, like, chat, like, a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a lot. It's a very scientific number. Okay, we need magic herbs. Magic defense herb. Uh... If we're gonna try something on a bonus boss, I will do that. And then we're gonna buy the rest on accessories. What do we have here? So I have enough for two flower rings, which is 80 health. Is that good enough for me, though? Do I need it at this point? I'm kind of overleveled. So what could have happened before, chat, <laughs> is if I wasn't sure about something, I could just go ahead and equip those to make up the HP difference from not having levels, but I think I actually got enough levels that this doesn't matter. I'm looking for something specifically. I might have to get another sky drop. I really dislike how the menu is laid out for this chat <laughs> when I got confused. I hit A to confirm the item, then it says, where? Do, what do I want to replace? Then I hit A, then I purchase, then it replaces. I'm like, but I just want it in my inventory. I don't want it literally right now. <clears throat> So the reason I'm going to get a sky drop or two chat is that one of the upcoming bosses petrifies and puts to sleep, which is really annoying. I would like to have a few of these for later. And then the rest could just go towards... I guess if I really need the X, the HP, if I'm going to need it, it's going to be an Ott. I'm just going to get her one Mistral ring. I could be more slot efficient in the future. Any remaining money is just going to be to correct if we die a lot. I don't think I'll be making other purchases for the rest of the game. We have a decent amount of healing items to get through the final boss. And if we're doing the bonus boss, I'll be able to purchase more, depending on how other things go. So I was worrying, uh, I was worried I'd miss some things like up here, for example. But I actually don't need to worry about either of these because these are related to things in the possible history we haven't done yet. So I don't need to worry about that. Instead, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna teleport to the Dunamis. Oh, perfect timing. I've picked up a reading on a new artifact. So, okay, so now we unlocked everything I was looking for. So we have very interesting... Oh, we could get another 20k. So if I really need to, I could get another six healing items and also still get defensive uh, items and or stat boosters. So I think just from those two quest clears alone, I should have enough money to do everything I need. So before we do that, let's set up a party. Oh, it won't let me. That's brutal. Hmm... Well, I guess we will just go to Surpassing a God then. I think we'll just man mode everything here. I think the only one where it's not a good idea, there's one where we end up fighting... Um, Fennel's army, I'll put it that way. And in that, it would probably be better for me to have Aught. But the other ones, I don't think it matters. Let's read the description of Surpassing a God. This one's from Forgia, where the artifact has made things take a turn for the worst. Hurry and retrieve the artifact before war, war breaks out between humans and beast kind. Art of Flurry. Also, chat, I'm gonna let you know. 
we are going to get to the point where we have to make a decision very soon. At least one of these quests has an alternate ending, from what I recall. I got an artifact reading from Forja in another timeline. Relations between beast kind and humans aren't going well there. They may go to war at this rate. That's problematic. What happens in those other worlds affects our own, after all. Hmm, looks like the artifact's power is working in an unintended way. You need to hurry and get it. Okay, I'll take care of it. I'm on PSO volume. What is what does that mean? Forger. Like the game is too low or something? I mean on my end it, it looks fairly high. I mean I could bump it. Yeah, I was gonna say. It PSO has its own volume. Yeah. I, I made sure to separate them. They they don't use the same source. Sorry for dragging you along with me, Red One. Don't worry about it. Times like these call for drastic measures, do they not? Hmm. I do not know why, but my fellow villagers suddenly grew aggressive, violent even. I only hope we can parlay before the situation escalates further. Either way, we have to try. Allow me to take it from here. Okay. Hmm. The continent is doomed at this rate. We cannot leave the matter to humankind any longer. Yeah. That's right. Humans had their chance. It's our time to rule. What is the meaning of this? Oh! What's it look like, Gafka? We're declaring war on humanity. What the... Huh? How dare you bring a human with you, you traitor? My presence problematic for Gafka? Hey, I'm the one talking to you. Leave this human out of it. Hmm. Shut up. Get out of the way. This is war. The one who strikes first is the winner. Calm down. What good can come from quarreling with humans now? <clears throat> All this time we struggled to survive while humans did whatever they pleased. But no more. Now it's our turn to call the shots. Hey. So step aside if you're not with us. You're against us. No, this stops here. Even if I have to fight you myself. What did you say? Gafka, you traitor. Actions speak louder than words. Let's see you back them up. Oh. Ah, oh, it's Burgess. Hey. Gaka, don't tell me you plan on openly defying Burgess. Seems I have no other choice. Allow me to lend my help. No, Red One. This is a matter among Gutrals. Being beaten by a human would only strengthen their prejudice. This is between me and them. Very well. Be careful, Gafka. Here goes! Who's next? Glad to see you're not all talk. Guess I'll take you down myself. This power. Burkis must be in possession of the artifact. That must be why the villagers have grown so aggressive as well. This chi. It doesn't belong to Master Burgess. You are no match against him. Not now, anyway. Master Galva? There is, however, a way. Will you undertake the Beast God's ritual to stop Burgess? I refuse. I do not need to lose my mind to become stronger. Burgess has some serious power. Plus, the artifact isn't helping. How do I handle this? The issue may only get worse if I try to join in, after all. Hmm. Should I leave Gafka out, or leave him to handle this on his own? Chat, we have to think really carefully. You know what, chat? Why don't we, uh, why don't we just leave it to Gafka? 
What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I'll leave it to Gafka. Is that what I want to do? We'll leave it to Gafka. This is a gutural matter. Things would only grow worse if I got myself involved. Have at you, Master Burgess. <laughs> Gafka! <clears throat> I'm sorry, red one. Oh! Ah, uh, Fergus is the winner. Get to the traitor and human! No. Gafka challenged Burgess on his own merit, and in doing so, lost his life. His death incited the beast kind to rain revenge on Stock, and the others were wavering. Even in the original history, the beast kind's relationship with humanity soured beyond repair. Such malice brought about a great massacre, and the continent sank further into the mire of war. Oh, chat man, we beat the game again! We're so good at this game. The ungrass hand, Finn. Ungrass hand has been added to the White Chronicle. That was close. Thank goodness you made it out of there alive. However, this turn of events has dragged your original history even further from salvation. Gafka had faith in humans. Perhaps together you could do more than you could apart. We are certain you will figure out the proper way forward. Do not fail us, Stock. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? Sure. I'm a little worried because it's not letting me swap my party. Maybe I'll just... Heading to the Vault of Time. Let, let's get this out of the way in case there's new dialogue, and then I'm not going to do anything here. I, I just want to swap my party. <laughs> Hi there, thank you for dropping by. Do you, have, do you have a moment to spare? There's something I should tell you. Yes. So I expanded the list of items you could buy using mementos. I personally think these new additions are quite something. Check them out when you can. Now buy more items. Yes. That just about wraps everything up. Well, best of luck to you. Out of curiosity, <laughs> we'll take a look at some of the items. I don't think I want anything. Oh. There's more support skills. No, we're gonna do chat. We're not going to take these until the end of the game. I, I feel like we're already really leveled, and 8,000 is a lot. Like, that that is kind of a gross amount, chat. Also, the fact that you could just get meta branches from here is kind of broken and busted. I'm not going to lie. That is actually busted. All right, I don't want to cheese the game that hard. We'll, we'll come back, I think, in when we're done with the normal ending, but before we go to the final... Uh, the final, final boss of the game. We'll get these skills. Out of curiosity, are these weapons any good? Flame Solace. Critical damage out the original Sword of Light. I mean, this would be a big damage increase for us, but I don't think I'm going to use it until post-game, as I said before. So all their ultimate weapons are now available here. I don't really need them to beat the game. Arguably, I don't even need them for the final boss. Interesting. Mana gauge up is useful to save time, but I'm not going to go out of my way for these. So it looks like there's actually some decent accessories and defenses here. Healing ring increases HP recovery rate. Why would I care about that? Increases ep epitaph spawn rate, memento shine from inside. What is Epitaph? Maybe that's the name of the gold creature that we haven't seen. I think it's like a crab monster. Question mark? Or is Epitaph the spider? <laughs> I don't remember. It could, be, it could be the thing I don't want to see. Well, anyway, we're not going to level off of this, but we'll acknowledge we have more to do post-normal ending? Question mark? And then those levels should help us for the true final boss, I guess. Just to say that we got all the skills of the game and then beat the game. I think there's skills we haven't unlocked due to our levels, and that's mostly just because Rosh is really far behind. Okay, so there is a little bit of a problem I'm noticing. I might need Marco's mana gauge here. So what I'm going to do... Ooh... That is a little risky. 
I need to put him in the party at some point, but I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I guess I just have to bring him into random encounters. Actually, you know what? It's it's fine. We'll we'll fix that later. Let's not worry about that now. Let's just man mode for now. So I need Marco's uh, bonus, but I don't really want Marco in any of the upcoming fights either. So I'll just go to like chapter one and just turn stall. Shall we record? So, unfortunately, I do need his burst. Either that or I could use a shielder, plus there's a really annoying boss in the boss rush. I want to see if I could get away with just Marco's burst. And make me survive it, because the damage dealt is bonkers. Or I could use shielder to stall for turns. If I try to heal every turn, I'm actually not going to get enough turns to kill the boss that I'm thinking of. So, it should be good. Oh, I, I guess I could just teleport here. Save some time, I guess. So let's lend a hand this time. Okay, and lend it. Goff got a hand. Is that what I want to do? Lend a hand. Goff did decline the Beast God's ritual, and in doing so, put his consciousness over mindless power. There's still a chance, though. Perhaps we can overcome the Beast God together. Now, come at me as you will. Goff got. I'm going to help you after all. Red one. Our cooperation will prove there can be common ground between humans and beast kind. You may be right. Very well. Ready when you are. All right, now I'm allowed to choose my party. Yeah, see, that's always worried. I do not want Rainy. So let's bring in Gafka and put Rosh back in. I don't need Rainy for the rest of the game. Marco I'm going to use maybe twice. And then I guess it's up to chat if we see Erica and Odd for some of the boss rush. I will be doing uh, man mode for a couple of the bosses since we have decent levels. And this is a good opportunity to level Rosh a bit more. <clears throat> you lose your life, it's over. Show us what man and beast kind can do when they join forces. But we can't give up this fight, so we're in a very small area, which makes sense. Hurry up and get started. Master Burgess is gonna win, obviously. We'll talk to Gopka. Are you ready? Master Burgess is powerful. Make certain you're prepared. We'll talk to Burgess. Hiding behind a human won't change a thing. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Let's go man mode. Then let's do this. Let's prove what we can do. Indeed. Leave it to me. Magic boost actually surprisingly useful. I'm gonna tell you why, chat. Magic boost in power is the might herb that we're gonna put on Gafka. <laughs> so we we got a little lucky there. So we're gonna. I guess fish for the defense down. At some point. For now, let's just give him another turn. Alright, so somebody is about to get wailed on. Uh, Since we're gonna get mana burst later, I think I'm actually just gonna turn break him here. Because otherwise I think he's gonna kill a party member. I think this is the right call. Yeah, this is the right call. Okay. So if we really needed to, we could get rid of his last turn with Rosh, but I think that's a little overkill and not needed. So now we just need to build a turn count for him. So we'll just do maybe like air assault into lower defense. Oh, I know what I could do. Reverse the order slightly. Big air into push, maybe not push assault. Power wave. And we need to build the combo count. So we'll do impale mode. Or not impale mode, what's it called? Uh, where's the burst I'm looking for? Okay, haste mode. We need to build up the combo count a little bit. So let's build up the combo count here. Ooh, is that... 
Is that going to be enough turn to get a defense down? I don't know if it is. Okay, I'm going to go for one more big air later on then. Just in case this doesn't work. We're going to build our own combo with this. Then we're going to... Big air again. Maybe we'll haste mode. Haste mode... Into... Double slash... Get rid of our turn here, because I don't need it. Into... Mushu... Can I just... I could probably just Kuigon wave this, actually. Kuigon wave into big air. Into Kuigon wave. Hopefully this is good enough. I'm just thinking. You know what? I'm gonna move the haste. Sorry. <laughs> I I like my idea, sort of. But I should just start with haste mode. I think that makes more sense. But we'll do both our haste modes here. Big air into. I want to see if I can get the damage down here. If it doesn't happen, this will be fine. Actually, I'll just go for power here. I don't think I need more to the combo count. Yeah, this should be fine, just in case. I'll do one more backup launcher. Actually, no, that would make more sense. Hold on. Then I could air I could actually air assault, because he's got that ability. There we go. This should be big damage. Hmm. Well, sorry, Chad, I'm feeling indecisive with this. I think this should be... Yeah, this this will be fine then, actually. I'm going to go back to that plan. I think this will be very overkill if we get the defense down. If we don't get the defense down, I don't know if this will kill. We'll find out, I guess. Here's a special one. Here I come. All right, we got the defense down. <laughs> How's this? How about this? Eat this. Here I come. Take that. Ooh. There we go. Well done. Well done, chat. It's finally over. Okay, Rosh almost leveling again. Gafka close to leveling. There we go. <clears throat> I actually don't know if that would have killed had we not gotten the defense down on the first one. But I guess if we just get lucky every time, it doesn't matter. Master Burgess was defeated. <clears throat> How'd Gafka and that human win? Yeah, I feel like if I didn't go for air assault there, Chan, I actually would not have done enough damage. So I don't regret swapping it that second time. As I don't think with uh, Mushu I would have done enough building into the combo. <sighs> you lose, Burgess. How did the human win? I cannot believe you let some trinket control you. Wait, what was I just... <sighs> Master Burgess, have you come to your senses? It seems he has. Well done, Kafka. Master Gulp. The power of the Beast God is nigh limitless. But it is a solitary strength. Cooperation, it seems, is the power of endless possibilities. Keep working with these humans, Kafka. And grow stronger than even the Beast God. Yes, Master. I will entrust this to you. Beast kind need no trinkets. We, we acquired the Red Fang. Well, that settles that. Power in hand has been added to the White Chronicle. Welcome aboard, Stock. Did you patch up relations between the humans and Beast kind? I did. It should no longer be affecting our original history. Oh, and here's this. 
handed over the red fang. Thank you. Outstanding work as always. Press complete art of flurry attained. And she full heals us, which is useful. Let me see what that does. Teach us the support skill, Meiko Shushi. Oh, I can't use it because he's not in the party currently. Let's put on our thinking caps and find some artifacts. You still don't trust Nemesis Sia. Hugo's retreated from Grenori, but he still plans on using the artifact for his own gain. Hurry and take it back before he does anything too drastic. Noah's Disciple is the quest name. Sure. Ready for your next assignment? So we just have to build our blast gauge back up at some point with Marco. And if I need to use one with Rosh, that's also okay. I don't need it for Gothka currently, unless I have an emergency turn break. But I 100% I need Marcos if I'm going to go for a certain strat. Protagonist, I just need by the final boss fight, which shouldn't be a problem, given we have four more encounters and then three bosses in between. In the next potential world, you'll be going to Alistair. Hugo retreated from Granor, but he hasn't given up yet. As for the artifact, I'm getting readings from inside the castle. Sounds as though conflict will be unavoidable this time. The city is still in chaos, so you're probably right. Make sure you stay on your toes. There's no telling how the artifact is affecting things, so try not to dilly-dally. Need Marco, what the heck is going on? We're fighting an enemy that does, like, potentially 200 to 300 to every party member and causes status ailments. I want to see if I can just reduce the damage. I guess if I have enough healing herbs, I might be able to counter it. We'll, we'll see. We, we could try it once without Marco, maybe. And then if we can't do it, we could do it with Marco. After all, it'd be a big no-no if people died because of it. The problem, as I said before, is more it just does so much damage. I think it can also single target hit me for over 500, which I think I can now survive with the protagonist, but I'm not so sure, depending on who else is there. Like, if it targets Gafka, for example, I think Gafka will still die instantly. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, I guess if nothing else, we'll be getting emergency levels and speed across the next three encounters. So hopefully that'll reduce RNG and I'll be outside of crit range of the bosses. But we'll see. Possible history, Noah's Disciple. The rebel army draws near, and your personal soldiers have no intention of putting up a fight. No, it's not over yet. It can't be. Really, Hugo? Are you so incapable of seeing the truth without Noah at your side? It is you who cannot see. With the prophet fallen ill, now is my time to take control. Once I have dealt with those rebels, I shall reign supreme. Is that so? Then do as you will. <laughs> There's no need for concern. I still have an ace up my sleeve. This reliquary, Prophet Noah, the nation you built will soon belong to me. Ever since the Prophet fell ill, Hugo has been doing whatever he damn well pleases. Rebuilding Alistair from the ground up is quite the headache. Last time we saw the Prophet, he was already pushing himself too hard. Noah's still alive in this possible world as well. My original history, the people learned of Noah's death and Hugo lost all sway. Considering how unhinged Hugo can get, it's no wonder Noah got pushed over the edge. I must agree. In any case, it falls on us to stop Hugo. I heard some of his men are still putting up a fight. Man, what are they thinking? They know they're on a sinking ship. Their loyalty to Hugo must be quite strong. Either that, or they're being coerced. Dot, 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 dots. We'll cut down anyone who stands in our way. We must do whatever it takes to reach Hugo. Right. This is our last cleanup. Hmm.
Oh, so the moray manto is here. Oh, that's confusing. I forgot he could wear capes. I was trying- remember last time, Chad, I got confused where this could go? Wow, plus five speed. Um... I might actually just take this. If I'm gonna be a spellcaster, this might be my best armor. And I don't really care about his damage at all. Yeah, let's get the plus five speed. Well, I'm glad I double checked that. So I wasn't wrong in thinking it was a cape. I just forgot <laughs> he could wear capes because it doesn't come up very often. They look ready to fight. Well, this plus five speed is gonna be kind of OP. So now I'm not really worried about most boss fights where our character is targeted. And as long as we keep the man mode team, I shouldn't get one shot by anything other than magic attacks. But we'll see. Must be Hugo's personal contingent. Sorry, but you're going to have to let us through. So the artifact does have something to do with this. Seems Hugo's using it to fight back. For the profit, for Hugo! Oh no. I won't lose. That looks like a really garbage encounter. Um. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. This is fine. That's a little less fine. Okay. We need to be able to tank for turns here. They made a formation. That's not good. So we have to kill them on this turn, I think. Let's try to get four turns together and see what happens. How much damage is this gonna do? Okay, we could live with that. That's fine. Man team man mode, just take it in the face. It's fine. Like, this probably would have killed Ott. <laughs> but we're not playing with Ott. Do I dare let them get another turn? I don't think I do. I think I have to go for the kill here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to abuse Might Herb. And we're going to... I might actually have to mana burst this. This is kind of like a garbage encounter, to be honest. Um... I don't really need another protagonist turn, so we could get another Gothka turn. We could do something like... Oh, I just thought of something. So if he's gonna do this, he could do the Wind God Strike. And then we could try to go for the Big Air. And then Qui-Gon Wave, and hopefully this will kill them with the power-up. We'll see, though. Here I come. Eat this. Wow. <laughs> Gopka said no, chat. It's finally over. Gopka and Rosh leveling. So again, that's just more health, more defense. There we go, chat. We're, we're, we're just stat-checking the enemy at this point. That was just a casual encounter. So goodbye that might herb, but you went to a good place. Which is on Gothka. Hopping off my health. Wow, Rosh almost at 600 health. You know what's really gross, chat? If we had gotten the plus... I think it's plus 200 hit point armor from our mementos battling, Rosh could have been at almost 800 health. I think that would have made it basically impossible for me to lose. I think even with his weakness to magic, it still wouldn't matter. Enough of this, Hugo. You're finished. Don't celebrate just yet. If I kill you all here. Hugo, hand over the artifact. Shut up, shut up, shut up! If not for your meddling, this never would have. Hugo, please stop this. Prophet Noah, no, you shouldn't be out here. Your body is too... If you care about me, then surrender now and live. Live for the sake of Alistel. Noah, hang in there. Chris says the mannequin lives. Noah immediately falls over. Prophet Noah, come back to me. I'll surrender myself and devote my life to Alistel from now on. Please, please speak to me, Prophet Noah. Noah! Mark, you got any medicine? It's no use. He's already gone. It's no use, Chad. No. <sighs> it's 
It's all my fault. He wasted his final breath on a wretch like me. <sighs> the Prophet was a Thaumatech pioneer. He mechanized his dying body to extend his life. And he was already at his limit. Something malfunctioned, and his whole body began to shut down. He was supposed to be kept in suspended animation, but he came out to talk sense into me. It was me. I'm the one who snuffed out the remaining fire in the Prophet Noah's life. I have nothing left to live for. So you've already forgotten the words you told Noah in his final moments. Uh. Now, hand over the artifact. Of course. Obtain the red torch. You'll be taken into custody before long. Spend your last moments of freedom with Noah. Hmm. Sending Sun has been added to the White Chronicle. <laughs> Did he accidentally press the self destruct bu button? Maybe. Welcome back, Stock. You okay? That's how he got out of suspended animation. Yeah. I'm all right. Here. He handed over the red torch. That's one more step toward ending the desertification. Full credit for you, Stock. I'm not gonna lie, Chan. I thought we had one more battle. I wouldn't have bothered healing if I realized that. That's fine, though. Then another 8,000 gold for potentially one more accessory or more healing herbs. I mean, healing herbs kind of OP, chat. I'm okay with that. HP and MP so, have been restored. Is this artifact causing any weird effects or being used for evil? To control soldiers. No wonder, given it was Hugo using it. Ugh, seriously? Why don't people use them to help anyone but themselves? I'm not sure. Then again, taking the artifact from a benevolent person would feel... strange. Uh, that's... that's true. But still... It was a joke. What? Jokes I don't get are a big no-no. You get a red X. Oh no, chat, we got a red X. We failed. I've been wondering, Nemesia. Why did the Empire fall? Okay, so now that we cleared a story-related... Uh, node. We're getting additional story outside of them just commenting on the story we saw. So we're almost done with all of her required quests, which will result in something happening at the end of the normal ending. Because of the desertification, it all began in the Empire. Legitimately, Chad, I think we have one more we haven't seen. As his home withered around him, Prince Allium led his people to start over in a new land. Today, it is known as Granord. So, Allium was the first king of the kingdom of Granord. But the desert soon followed. Sand nipping at their heels. Plants died and rivers dried. There wasn't much time before they'd lose Granord, too. So Allium devised a secret art. What kind of art? The art of controlling flux. Nowadays, it's called the ritual. Said ritual can stop the desert from spreading, for a time. It is, however, only temporary. So since the ritual hasn't been performed recently, the desert's advance is continuing unchecked. Correct. But keep in mind, the ritual doesn't stop the desert's progress, only slows it. Beyond that, though, why is it happening to begin with? All I can say is that the Empire caused it by accident. I have to keep studying to find answers. And for that, we'll need more artifacts. Each one is a clue, so please keep looking for them. Cleaning Salvation has been added to the White Chronicle. Oh, perfect timing! I picked up a reading on a new artifact! <laughs> I like how we have it left, but th that's fine. Oh, looks like we got two more. I'm a liar, apparently. Wow, the reward is 20,000 G? I don't know if I need that much. That, that, that's a little much post-game, or not post-game. Um, uh, I guess we'll say alternate content. Technically, it could be post-game if you played the other mode. Wow, that is more money than I think I will ever need, but sure. 
Also, it looks like we're about to get a new armor, which is interesting. So let's go to this one first. The War Goddess. Grunorg has fallen into Alicentian hands in this world, but a rebellion is in the works. I'll bring it to fruition and snag that Ready artifact. Your next assignment? We're gonna get whatever Rad Grid is, which is a red armor. Sure, we're ready for the next assignment. Ready for another field trip? Today's stop is Granorg. It's under Alistelian rule in this world, but a certain soldier is starting a revolution. Who would do such a thing? That, I don't know. What I can tell is that they're heading straight for the artifact. Sounds like I should go aid that soldier then. Well, I'm off. Possible history, the Valkyrie. In this possible version of Grenorg. Intel has arrived for Hugo, who now rules the land. Viola has revolted? That's right. She grew wise to your ploys and came charging in by herself. A one-woman revolution? <laughs> Does she hope to become a martyr? Well, she's broken through the gates already. It won't be long before she's at your door. What were my guards doing? The same thing all men do when faced by a Valkyrie. Those who haven't abandoned their posts in fear are fighting by Viola's side. Judging from her momentum, I'd assume that Stock and Co. are helping her. At this rate, my dear Hugo, it may be you who is made a martyr. Damn you, Heiss. You act like this has nothing to do with you. But there's no need to fret. I have a trump card up my sleeve. Dun dun dun. Just you wait, Hugo. I'll deal with you soon. Not the prophet Noah chat. Hold, Viola. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. This is nothing. Let's continue. Okay, well, I mean, we're still gonna go with team man mode. And I have a reason to change it. Also, I noticed Gakka finally got over 500 health. That's actually pretty crucial. Especially given his defense has been increasing this whole time. Like, look, 100 defense is phenomenal, chat. Like, it's, it's third highest, but it's, like, way higher than everybody else's at the moment. So I, I think I'll be fine for the most part. Unfortunately, my magic defense is still kind of lackluster for both those characters. Enough! Look who's talking. You can barely lift your sword. <laughs> Say your prayers, Field Marshal Viola. You won't die here as the Valkyrie, but as a traitor. I don't have time for this. We'll take care of them. You hurry on to Hugo, Viola. Very well. Thank you. Hmm. Leave it to me. I stand at the protagonist. That's not as useful. Okay, let, let's see what they do if they're given turns. Heart down. Don't necessarily care about that. Wow, that did no damage. Wow. 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 Were we supposed to get this much earlier? They're doing no damage. Chat, they they credit us for 41. We have 500 plus health. Like, we're not going to lose this encounter. Anyway, I'm not even going to Might Herb. They're, they're not worthy of this. Is he going to do anything? Can... No. Okay, I'm glad I didn't waste resources. Let's just build up a good combo, I guess. Oh, he got powered up. That could be a problem. Okay, that doesn't really matter. I'm just going to build our turns. This is where I wish the protagonist had the ability to trans turn. I think we actually have too many turns. I might need to lower my speed slightly. Okay. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Let's do something like... Wind God Strike to pull them all together. Then we'll Mushu. We wanna get as many hits as possible. 
We want just a ridiculous, ridiculous combo. Then we're going to haste mode. Then we're going to... I guess power wave. Power wave. Power wave. Actually, before we do that... Maybe I'll go for big air. Just to... Because I don't think I need combos at this point. Just power wave, power wave, power wave, power wave. Big air into... Probably, uh... Big on wave. This should kill basically all of them. Here I come! How about this? How about this? Take this! How about I this? think that killed them. This and this is just making sure. That felt a little unnecessary. But it felt beautiful. Looks as though we won. Well, we acquired G Fire finally. Nice. So yeah, we're we're feeling pretty strong. So we have the spell that I might use on the final boss already. So I'm definitely ahead of where I need to be level wise. It's either that or I would have done Willow Wisp. But G Fire is also pretty good. That takes care of that. Now to herd it to Viola. I mean, I still have a lot of MP, right? Yeah, I have an okay amount. We'll just top off our health. It's already sitting at 20,000 gold. I don't really know what to do with all that. Oh, I thought he was in this room. Maybe he's back at the throne room? Alright, he's at the throne room now. Viola. <sighs> Something feels off here. Why is Viola just standing there? Prophet Noah, you're alive. That's just a doll, Viola. Snap out of it. Do you take me for a fool? The Prophet stands before us in the flesh. Words can't describe how much I wanted to see you again. Even after hearing you died, I, I never lost hope that you were safe and sound. He who lives forever cannot die. Have you so little faith in me? Such words of wisdom. Our beloved prophet is eternal. What in the world? Wait, a bizarre situation like this is most likely a result of the artifact's power. I knew it. You're using that artifact to protect an illusion of Noah before Viola. You speak heresy. It is her love for Noah that makes him real. That's right. Her faith is what gives life to the idea. We must all find our inner Noah. There you go, chat. Find your inner Noah today. Enough of this foolishness. Call me a fool. But the people of Alistel have been devoted to a mannequin all this time. <laughs> you bastard. Oh, the horror. This heretic has turned his back on the prophet. He's defying Noah's divine will. Viola. Raise your sword in my name, as you always have. As you wish. Oh, wait. Viola! Oh, that's... That's kind of unfortunate. I... The Viola fights are some of the hardest in the game. I probably should have saved. Oh, boy, chat. Uh... Well, I... Don't think she can one-shot us. But it's gonna waste a lot of healing items with this current party. Halt. Or I will not hesitate to strike you down. I can't raise my hand against Viola. Must be the hesitation in her heart that's showing her this illusion. Oh, wait a minute. I think we're going to get bailed out and we don't need to actually do this fight. Hold on, chat. I think we're getting bailed out. No, Hugo said it earlier. It's a devotion in her heart. How do I change this situation? There's a way to do so. The key must lie within Viola herself. How I look at it. Backing down is my only option. Okay, so we're gonna have to find something in another chapter. Got it. The Wandering Faithful has been added to White Chronicle. Good. I'm <laughs> like, I'm not ready for a viola fight. So let's see. What would we need to do? I guess we'll save and we're gonna check the chapters. I mean, I think there's literally a chapter called the Valkyrie, so I'm just gonna go to that one first, and let's see if that's what we need to do. 
I mean, it only makes sense. Go to the chapter named after the character. But not much we could do at the moment here. It was all the way in chapter one. Yeah, there it is. Put Marco and Rainy back in the party. Chat, just shake your head. Oh, I think it went up too high. Maybe. Where am I relative to everything else? Okay, I think this is what I'm looking for. Viola. I've heard you were quite close to the Prophet Noah. Can you tell me about that? Congrats on the 99 PD, Murphy. I was once the Prophet's Knight. Now I'm just a soldier who was sent away to rot. This may be rude of me to ask, but do you think your devotion to Noah could somehow affect your decision-making in battle? Quite an interesting question. I can't deny the possibility, but the Prophet Noah once said, when the road ahead is unclear, we must light up our own path. He wanted Alistelians to think for themselves, not to blindly follow his teachings. The Prophet's words were meant as guidance, but his true wish was for us to find our own way. An understandable wish, given where blind faith has landed the people of Alistel. A rather harsh opinion. Why do you ask, by the by? Someone I know is about to make a terrible decision based on their conviction. Hmm. Then let me entrust this to you. Noah himself gave it to me. Same Noah's monocle. A monocle? It was blessed by the prophet. This monocle can see through lies and reveal the truth. Or so he told me. Apparently she just randomly has the lens of truth. Some, some Zelda crossover there. If someone you know has lost their way, have them try it on. It might help them see clearly. Thank you, very specific object to deal with the thing that <laughs> could be countered by this. Much appreciated. I will. Maybe if I show this to Viola in that possible world. Wondering Faithful has been revised by Chronicle. Yeah, possible histories... I like some of the ideas behind them, but man, some of the execution, like this one, like, just specifically the monocle that will happen to show the truth. Not that we're going to use her own words to convince her, which would have been more interesting. No, just have the lens of truth, I guess. Whatever. Actually, can I just go to White Chronicle and then Possible History? I think that's faster. So we're gonna have to do that fight again. So the game the game is making sure that we're leveling here, chat. Should just come back at one point here to get that old advice again. You're not wrong. I won't lose. Oh, their turns are different. Take this! That's weird. There! Well, I mean, they have a very solid strategy, I guess I'll say. I'm just gonna skip turn and do the same thing I did last time, but this time with more Mushu. I could get more money. I mean, I have so much health and defense, I don't think guard down really matters. Again, if this was odd, maybe she would be threatened if all, like, three or four powered-up units hit her. Take this! At, like, 40 damage, she'd be taking, like, 70 or 80, comparatively. It, it would have made a small difference, but... No, it will do, chat. We're gonna do... We're gonna do a... Let's say... Wind God Strike into Mushu into let's say Impale Mode or something like that. Oh no, big bigger. Give more damage. 
into Double Slash, into Big Air, into Double Slash. Can we steal mid combo? Let, let's just see if we could do it, Chad, into Quigon Wave to kill. I think even without defense down, they're just dead here. Here I come. How about this? This will yeah. leave a mark. Yeah, they're super dead now. Too slow. Yeah. Wow, still couldn't steal, this? chat. Still couldn't Take steal. That. Wow. Steal is such a That's fail in this game. Can we talk about that? Like that was like what, a 20 something hit combo. Our character is insanely overleveled for this. Still failed. Just big oof. Steel is so bad in this game. Like, legitimately, chat, there's, like, maybe three items worth taking. Otherwise, like, the upgrades you get from them are just kind of bad. Like, sadly, the first, like, three chapters or so of the game, the only thing you can really steal are healing items. And it's like, if you're going to spend time stealing, you're just going to take damage for it. it. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. There's some items, like... Uh, if we had stolen from Heist, for example, we could have gotten the Shielder Plus, which I would argue probably would have been worth maybe going for, if I'd remembered it when we did it at that point. But otherwise, it's like, uh, we kind of could just get better items from the Mementos at this point, or we just naturally get good items from the dungeons. The stealing just ends up being very pointless. The only thing I could think of is on the bonus bosses, if I really wanted to attempt to steal, we could get, I think, a plus 20, de 20 defense and magic defense item, which I think is the only way we can acquire that as an accessory. So, like, we could get an upgrade, technically, in the boss rush, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> Honestly, I don't need it to beat the game. We're not going to go for 100% items, so I don't really care. Support Curse Strike? Nice. She got Deadline. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever used that skill. I've no idea what it does. Okay, so let's try to Viola. I'm gonna top off our health. In case we do have a boss battle, I think we're still good. I'm not gonna spend anything until we've confirmed in a boss battle. So, Gothka getting yet another 10 health, so putting me further and further away from the insta-kill. So it looks like his magic defense didn't increase on level, but his physical defense did. So he gained two physical defense, zero magic defense. Speed-wise, they're at 30, which is, you know, slightly above average. How are they doing in terms of items here? <laughs> yeah, he's gotten all the, all the speed-ups here, so he goes at a normal speed. Oh, that's right. We did all-star studs on this character, so we could also go more damage. If we really wanted to. Yeah, that plus 10 speed. Honestly, I might get rid of this. It's it's more just making sure... I might just give it to Gothka. Thinking about it. I mean, I could remove 4 speed here, because there's no downside to this. And then weaken the protagonist speed slightly. Just so I could get more... I feel like we're actually too fast with stock, unless he's going to be the main damage dealer. So I'm okay with this small speed decrease to give more speed to Rosh. This will help with getting extra turns, if nothing else. We'll, we'll try that, see how we feel about it. Because getting more MP on stock is kind of good. Rosh doesn't need a whole ton of MP. He needs like 30 per boss battle. Or at most 40. We'll see how we feel about this. Those devotions are deceiving her, but perhaps if I give her this monocle. I have no interest in fighting you, Viola. I'd just like to have a civilized conversation. Here. This is for you. That's the Prophet's monocle. But why do you have it? Someone you know quite well entrusted it to me. Now gaze upon Noah once more through this monocle. Wait, this is... He was a doll the whole time, chat. It's nothing but a dummy. Impossible. No way could that parlor trick break the spell.
Listen to your heart, Viola. The prophet is right here. Noah is with us, now and forever. Prophet Noah. Your heresy ends here, Hugo. The mockery you've made of our faith deserves a hundred deaths. I was gonna say, chap, they were so close. If only he had said, listen to your heart when he's calling for you. It was so close, chat. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. It would have actually fit in this scenario, which is kind of funny. They're so close, chat. They could have slipped in the lyrics. Can you truly strike down your beloved prophet? <sighs> Viola, do not grieve for me. I am no longer of this world. Hello, Broccoli Dave. Playing some Radiant Historia. What the? My memory should not be a chain that binds you to the past, but a beacon to guide you forward. We're just clearing up some, we'll say alternate timelines, and we're just preparing for a boss rush, but we've Basically beaten the normal portion of the game. Shut up! You're not real! <laughs> it's not good when you're arguing with your illusionary doll, <laughs> right chat? That's when you know you've lost hard. The game that comes with its own fanfiction. Yeah, the the possible histories is just, you know, I guess for the, the, the fans, quote unquote. And the DLC, I guess, as well. Do what you must, Viola. Indeed, JRPG. I understand. My prophet. Rest in peace, doll. Farewell, Noah. Here, you can keep the monocle. Shut up, doll. I disguise, disguise the Pope. You're not real. Uh, the original one is for the DS. We're playing the 3DS version, which has, uh, slightly altered art and additional content, plus voice actors. Deep down inside, I knew the Prophet was no longer with us, but I was so scared. Too scared to admit the one I loved was gone. In my weakness, that fear led me to believe in an illusion. I wanted to be deceived. Who knows what would have happened if not for this monocle? Who knows what would have happened if not for this very convenient monocle to counter this very specific setup? Speaking of, I should go get the artifact off Hugo. We attain the Red Idol. After the Prophet passed away, Hugo became bewitched by that idol and the power it offered. I hated him for defiling the Prophet's image and twisting his teachings for personal gain. Noah just read the strategy guide, that's why he's the Prophet, says Murphy. Plot is strong with this one, says Calvisham. Yeah, the possible histories, plot is not the strong suit. But I, I like that they give the voice actors more chances to voice things in general, so more payment. It was nice. That's what I view this as, Sean. But in truth, Hugo and I weren't so different after all. Because honestly, Viola gets almost no lines in the core game. Like, think about it, chat. She's in chapter one, chapter two, end of the game. <laughs> There's nothing in between. I clung to a false idol, hoping in vain to fill the void in my heart. He and I were one and the same. And then chat did love Fennel. Chat, we would have less Fennel if not for the bonus content. Even if that were the case, your past diverged at the very end. Indeed. I was able to write my course thanks to you and the Prophet Noah. Thank you, young Lion of Alistair. Spirit Goddess has been added to the White Chronicle. Alright, so we're done with this quest. Welcome aboard, Stock. I assume you got the artifact safely? I most certainly did. Here. Pretty nice voice acting for a 3DS game. It's pretty solid. I also like the soundtrack to this game. It's from probably my second favorite composer. I recognize them from doing the original Street Fighter 2 soundtrack slash Kingdom Hearts or Legend of Mana. 
and it over Red Idol. Thanks for doing a great job. You get an A plus. Right, quest over. Let's see if this armor is any good. Speed plus five. We lose defense, but chat. Oh, we could get Rosh more turns. Oh no. I mean, I don't think it's. I don't think this is a good call for me, but it's good magic defense. Maybe I'll do this. Oh, that's so much chat. That's so much speed for this is the fastest I've ever seen Ross. She's almost at 40 chat. Wow. The, the big heavy tank is the second fastest character in our party. <laughs> that's not really fair, but OK, we'll take that. Let's put on our thinking caps and find some artifacts. Whatever you say, Nemesia. Okay, chat. Let's see. We only have a few side quests remaining. So, Loathsome Divinity. I'm getting a reading from beneath the Alistair Castle. It's a massive signal, so it's possible somebody's tampered with the artifact. Be ready for anything when you head down there. Sure, we're still gonna bring in team man mode, so I think it'll be fine. Assignment? Let's go start it. In this potential world, you'll be heading to Alistair. Yeah, the music is quite nice. I think they have a variety. Like, right now we're having more of the peaceful music, but the combat music is super good. I picked up an unusually strong reading from beneath the castle. It's feasible someone is already tampering with the artifact. I have no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Of course. Spot on reply. Have a safe trip, and don't do anything reckless. Let's go to the other possible history. Via the ship. Possible history, Loathsome Divinity. This is underneath the castle. It seems the prism is already sensing something as well. If I remember right, Fennel's secret lab should be just ahead. Maybe I should go check it out. Yuko and Fennel. But what is that thumb machine? Oh, chat, we're gonna get more Fennel. Ooh. Actually. That must be where the artifact is being kept. I should go take a look. I have I have a personal quandary. <laughs> Sorry, don't do anything reckless. Sorry, I can't do that, says Murphy. Something like that. But glad you're enjoying the music, Broccoli Day. So we have a little bit of a conundrum here. So I'm gonna tell you how this boss fight works. Do I still want to man mode it? So essentially, this slow machine is going to power up the foot soldiers that are with it. So ideally, what you would do is if you have enough speed or somebody with really high magic, you can actually put the foot soldiers to sleep and the fight is free. Like, you completely counter it. The problem is that even with all these speed ups, I don't think the I don't think they're fast enough. Uh, stock is definitely fast enough, so I'll be able to put one person to sleep. However, that means I still have to deal with the Thaw Machine, which is notoriously high defense. I'm thinking about if I want to bring it up for this scenario. She's very overpowered. We, we've been we've been leaning away from her because she just breaks the game completely. I mean, I could still try to go for man mode. I'm just thinking about what the drawback would be if I do this. What's my physical defense like? I just lowered it on Rosh, but it's still above 100. I guess this will be fine. Yeah, let, we'll, we'll try it with Team Man mode. Worst thing that happens is I just fight with uh, Ott, and we should be good. Also, I have 25,000 gold. I don't need any of that. We've. I, I guess I could get more healing items, I guess. Fennel, is it true that you put the Prophet's remains into this Thaw machine? Stop with the yelling and feast your eyes upon my masterpiece, the ultimate mechanized man! There you go, chat. I'm sure you're happy to get more Fennel. Just look how happy he is. Look at that grin. Just always happy, chat. <laughs> OMG is a Broccoli Day. Fennel is a character. A lot of people enjoy Fennel. He's quite over the top. 
Noah has transcended his mortal coil to become a true deity, a god in the machine, if you will. I was about to make a Ghost in the Shell joke, but it kind of did it for me there, so good job, Fennel. Have you lost your mind? Why are you mad, Hugo? Now you can stay by Noah's side forever! <laughs> good lord, this is blasphemy! The Prophet would never wish to be defiled like this! He was the Thaumatech engineer. Becoming one with your research is heaven for a man like him. <laughs> Hugo talking about blasphemy is pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Damn you, Fennel. Take the Prophet out of that scrap heap right this instant! What are you blathering about? This is Noah now! What? Prophet Noah's corpse is inside that thaw machine? Of course. After all, Alastel still needs its prophet. How pitiable. To be unable to return to dust and death. Poor Mr. Noah. Fennel must have used the artifact to incorporate Noah's remains into the thaw machine. Fennel. We can't overlook this. I know. See, Chad was making fun of Noah this whole time. Now we gotta fight him. He's a giant death robot now. Yeah. Oh. More pesky flies. If you dare get in my way, then prepare to be judged by a man-made god. Stock the, in quotations, main character. Yes, Broccoli Dave. Activate! So we've been entrusted with one of the Chronicles, which we have learned is used to handle a ritual to stop the world from turning into a desert. And we know the wielder of the counterpart, the Black Chronicle. We've met the main antagonist of the series. So at this point, we went from traveling back and forth between points in time to interacting with the side character aboard the Dunamis, which is a ship that could travel to alternate histories, aka the fan fiction <laughs> side quest stuff. But anyway, we will appreciate War Fennel, though. Let's see. Wow, I barely go first. I want to help too. <gasps> no way. <laughs> wow. Chat, what are the odds that not only did Ott act first, but she hit the target that also needed to, that was about to go first. Wow, we got, <laughs> we got so much RNG on that. That's almost not even funny. That, that is ridiculous. I can't believe that just happened. Are we actually going to get the, the strategy I was going to go for regardless? Wow. Okay, this fight's a joke now. GG. <laughs> we got the best RNG ever. Yeah, so she has a one in... She has three different skills, and we have at least three other people not in the party. So any one of those other three could have done something at the beginning of combat. So it was like a one in three and a one in three. And she hit the right target, which is a one in three. <laughs> the fact that all of, and it worked, <laughs> and it worked too, is really funny. So now we can just do whatever we want. I have no concern about the rest of this fight. So we'll try to weaken it. I get, well, I could just let them go. So, so the game doesn't realize that I put them to sleep already. So as long as I don't hit them, they'll never get a turn again, by the way. So the way it does is it's basically like a super power boost, but they lose health over time. But because it's a status effect that deals damage to them, it's not going to wake them from their sleep. So this boss is just going to kill his only real source of damage, which is really funny. I'm glad we got to witness this. So anyway, this, just, this boss battle is completely free now. GG. Yeah, he only hits for 124 chat. It's over. I have 500 health. It's over. So anyway, I can just wait here and eventually they'll die. But let's build up a big combo. In fact, I want him to go first. Oh, he didn't power up his other person. What a shame. But yeah, it's it's so beyond over. Yeah, we're getting rid of his turn. <laughs> so you can see in the bottom right chat, I have 10 turns in a row. Um, I would just like to preemptively declare GG. You tried game. I just did better, that's all. Let's get haste mode. We, we'll build up some combos. It's it's beyond over. Like, I could do almost anything at this point. It would probably work. Then we'll do some big air. 
I think, just to get some damage. Uh... We have so many turns with this character. You fiends have no future. The fiends do have no future. Guess we'll big air them again towards the end. So we're just gonna go for raw damage here at the end. I mean, just to make sure that they die in this combo. Make sure we do our best power skill into like another power wave. Why not? We we got time. Into another big air. Into another Hugon wave. This should just outright kill. This is gonna be brutal, chat. This combo is just gonna go on forever. Here's a special one. Here's a special one. So remember, basically every level is about 2% more damage, and I just defense down them, so they're already dead. Take this. But we're not done, chat. Eat this. How about this? So the other enemy's still alive, but unfortunately for him. My combo's too strong. Yeah! GG. <laughs> it's finally over. Support, guard boost. Yeah, that combo. <laughs> he got Wombo comboed. It, GG, it's over. It's over, Fennel. It is over, Fennel. That combo was convincing. Men are mortal, but a machine can auto repair itself forever. This Thaumatech God is eternal! So, yeah, the, we're, we're playing, like, really heavy tanks, which normally is not, like, a super great idea, but because of the fact that they can defense down the enemy, we could kind of ignore any resistances that they have. And then on top of that, I didn't even bother powering up our strength. We could do that with items. Uh, it's kind of brutal. Now, if we launch on the in the air, as a reminder, when we hit them... It will do bit damage when they land based off the move that hits them. So we always want to end our combos that launch in the air with Gafka, because Gafka is the strongest character in the game physically. Not if I can help it. So yeah, we just dunked them. It was over. Whatever you try, it's futile. Please, Prophet Noah. Rest in peace. Hugo! Air attacks do different damage. Uh, they're kind of like a damage multiplier on the next attack, so they don't add a lot to the combo count by themselves, but they're really good for like the second to last move to boost damage. So if I have, like for example, the equivalency of a limit break in other games, or if I want to burn my super gauge, I can basically just one-shot certain bosses if my combo count is high, and I've launched them, and I've deep buffed them, and or I'm buffed. So we always try to end with the air attack just to guarantee the kill uh, into like a power hit. You fool! Those are the fruits of my technological labor. It's no use. The auto repairs can't keep up at this rate. Yeah, the combat's pretty nice in this game. We have a lot of no. My finest creation, it's all over now. We have a lot of leeway towards the end of the game to pick our party members, but uh, we'll probably see Ott, which is one of the spellcasters a bit later. But my personal preference is just to embarrass every enemy by just going raw physical strength and just not bothering with magic. Although magic is much stronger than physical. It's like not fair, but I now don't have to worry about the characters dying. So there's that trade off. Seems the artifact is safe. Poor Fennel. His plan was thwarted by us. We obtained the red hourglass. Yeah, we need raw power. I'll be holding on to this to make sure you don't do something that foolish ever again. No matter how you look at it, Noah's people still need him, even as a corpse. But you, do you really think the sheep of this land can go on without their shepherd? The people will be lost without their prophet to guide them. Nobody wants a machine to be their leader, though. Besides, Thalmatech is meant to help people, not rule over them. Hmm. It's just as he says. Isn't that so, Fennel? Noah! This is illogical! I impossible! Noah is dead! Be gone, illusion! It won't disappear. Fine. Then I'll mechanize the human body until it sees through such lies. Yes. 
I'll complete the perfect fusion of man and Thorbatek! Hmm. I wish to entrust you with the core of my mechanized body. <laughs> Today he learned dot 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 is from <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> It's quite something. This allowed me to extend my life beyond its natural limits. With this core, you can do the impossible. A possibility once sealed off can now be accessed. You tamed the flux core. A new possibility, huh? Just how much did Noah know? I suppose it'll forever be a mystery now. Noah's guidance has been added to the White Chronicle. Westover. I love Fennel just like, he's like throwing hands. He's like doing the grabby hand motions. What is he doing down there? Welcome aboard, Stock. Thank goodness you didn't get hurt. <laughs> well, you see, Nemesia, we let the enemy fall asleep and then we killed them as they rested. It was truly an honorable duel. Oh yeah, you missed the whole game, Broccoli Dave. Don't worry. <laughs> like, we're we're literally on the final chapter kind of things. Um, but yeah, he's basically... I guess in that timeline, he was still alive. In the main timeline, he's dead. But essentially, he's the leader of the nation that we work for. Yeah, I'm all right. Here's the artifact. He handed over the red hourglass. Thanks again for giving it 100%. We're that much closer to saving the timelines. Quest complete. Another 20,000 in gold. I don't need this money. Can't we like I, I'm I'm done with money. I don't need it unless it, the game makes me burn a lot of herbs or something. Like we're good. I don't even need to do any more random encounters aside from restoring Meta Burst. Noah gave something to me while I was there. So this can open a possibility that was once sealed off. What could he have meant by that? That core is not an artifact, so I don't know. Hmm, what does it mean? What kind of possibility could Noah have been talking about? The core is at all relevant. It must have something to do with Noah himself. But back in my world, Noah's been dead for a few years. Thank you, Stock, for filling in the backstory. You'd play through this? I I recommend it. I mean, it's hard to get now because a lot of the stores are closed. But if you're able to find a copy, I'd say it's pretty fun. Or if you play it through, we'll, we'll say, other means. You're also welcome to enjoy it there, too. Hold on. I assumed he was dead after seeing that doll. But I never actually saw his body. Is it possible that Noah is still alive? That would explain Noah's words in that other potential world. The question now is who to show the core he gave you. It has to be Hugo. He's the one who is hiding the truth about Noah from the people of Alistel. Good idea. But you should still be on your guard around him. Of course. Noah's guidance has been revised in the White Chronicle. So now we actually have a choice here. I guess we'll go back to the main timeline. Yeah, it did just shut down. The other one I was talking about, but hopefully you can find a copy somewhere. Okay, so as you can see, bottom left, 75 out of 98 story slash plot events seen. Main timeline, 227 out of 283. Now, a lot of the other ones are post-game content, so there's not much we could do there. However, they just mentioned that we can show something to Hugo. So if we go all the way back here, see how there's this little alternate branching path? We now have the item needed to see the other event here. So let's go to the chapter entitled Demigod. This area should look familiar, as we just came from here. That is the map of the timelines. Hugo. Alright, let's skip to... Okay, so now we have the choice. So, since we've already seen this cutscene, since we played through it before, and the, the game involves time travel, we're allowed to skip over events we've already seen. However, we now have the core we just got from the event. So let's see what the new content is, if we have this over. I might create a new possibility if I do. Sure, let's show him the core. To show Hugo the core and find out if Noah is really still alive. Is that right? Uh-oh, chat. Show it, reconsider. We're gonna show it. To find out how Hugo reacts when he sees the core Noah entrusted to me. I can't discount the possibility that Noah's still alive. 
Even if nobody has seen him lately. Hmm. Oh, is the game is the game gonna suggest he's actually been alive this whole time? That's interesting. Hugo, I have a question for you. Noah's still alive, isn't he? How, how did you? Wait, if Noah's not dead, how has Hugo been doing all this? Noah's health has presumably deteriorated to a point where he can no longer appear in public. <sighs> this will help Noah recover, right? Yeah, and it, it, it's definitely, you know, very Chrono Trigger slash very Chrono Cross-ish, yeah. That's... no, that's impossible. Where did you get that? Someone trusted me to see it safely into your hands. Now, what condition is Noah in? I need you to tell us. So be it. The Prophet's mechanized body has been malfunctioning for years. Therefore, I asked Fennel to preserve him in a state of suspended animation. Fennel? But he... That's right. I killed him. Without Fennel, the core is useless. Which means Noah... God... What have I done? My, my... Only now that you know Noah can be fixed, do you regret killing me, huh? Eh... Uh, I'm not just some mechanical tool for keeping Noah alive. Yeah, we're getting more Fennel. There we go, chat's excited again. Fennel, how are you alive? I thought I destroyed you. I predicted that once Historica was used on you, you'd lose your already feeble mind and attack. I was quite right to install an auxiliary power source and an auto repair program within me. Ah, uh, uh huh. You truly are the greatest Thaumatech engineer in all of Alistel. How silver tongue from a man who destroyed me. I sincerely apologize for that. Please forgive me. Well, staring at your bald head is getting boring. Let's hurry along to where Noah is. And where is that exactly? In the hidden room next door, sleeping. Exactly. It's, uh, of course. Of course he had an auxiliary power source. Of course. Just like we know from the canon of this game, you know, it's probably right next to a self-destruct button, right, chat? <laughs> Which is canon. That is actually a thing. Reviving him will be a delicate process, so stay put. You with the core, though. Come with us. What in the... Oh, this is different from the core I know. It might even be an upgraded version. Oh ho! A fusion with the structure of a thaw machine's core unit? What a quantum way of thinking. Oh, I'd just like to say, Chad, at this point, we are in the main timeline. This did not happen in the DS game. I'm pretty sure he is just straight up dead. So they're they're rewriting the game a little bit at this point, I guess. With new specs like these, overcoming the design flaws will be child's play. Look at his little grabby hands, chat. Look at him. He's so happy. He's just waving them around. Look at him. Up and down. It's like, gimme, gimme. Is Fennel helping us out now? Indeed he is. Truly. Then we shall be blessed to see the prophet restored to his former glory. But was the one who made it a genius? Or a madman? <laughs> oh, Fennel. Such a bold attempt couldn't have been made without putting Noah's life in danger. Though it'd be a different story if they'd experimented directly on Noah's corpse. His voice actor is awesome. He's quite a character. I'm glad they did get the voice actor for this character. Enough talk. Can it save Noah or not? No stock. Let Fennel talk as much as he wants to. <laughs> right, chat? To put it quite simply, no. The core itself is too damaged. But earlier you said it could overcome the design flaws. Don't jump to conclusions. Thanks to this, I can reverse engineer the tech behind it. I will now upgrade the core. If it works, there should be no issues with reviving Noah.
You dot 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 dot. You should be honored to watch me work. Where am I? Uh, what have I? Apparently, we were so honored we'd faded to black. We're like, listen, we're we're not gonna animate the the process. Just believe us. Stuff happened. Prophet Noah, you're awake. I can't tell you how long I've waited for this day to arrive. Indeed, that is Noah. Noah, sorry to bombard you right as you're waking up, but I need to explain what's happened. The player is not worthy to watch, you're right. <laughs> Much like the tournament in East, we, we just weren't allowed to watch. <sighs> yes, please do. So I have you and that core to thank for being back among the living. You have my gratitude. But of course. And what of you? What will you do now? Much has happened while I slumbered, it would seem. Perhaps it would be for the best if the public believed me dead. <sighs> Alistel is on the cusp of being born anew. I do not want the past to hold back its future. If my children are to follow their own path, then I must do the same. I've decided to follow Noah wherever he may go. There's nothing left for me here. Let the record state that I died alongside the Prophet. How will we explain that to those who knew the Prophet could be revived? I'll say the revival failed, and Hugo committed suicide to join Noah beyond the Veil of Death. I don't like the implication that my work was a failure. But very well, so be it. I did have fun tinkering on the core, so I'll grin and bear it. Oh, Fennel, you're always grinning. Well, I should be on my way. Hugo needs to relax, yeah. He's, he's definitely had some serious uh, personal, personality issues throughout the game. Use the Thaw Machine transport passage to slip away unnoticed. Farewell, Noah. Farewell to you too, Fennel. And you as well, Stock, son of possibility. Uh. Even through the haze of dreams, I saw you doing all you could. Please continue to look after Alistel and the world. You dot 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 that in response. Indeed, he's just always smiling. I, I'm not sure if he can frown. We haven't seen it yet, I don't think. And the snow melts has been added to the White Chronicle. Please, Prophet Noah, wait for me. I'm still going to continue my research for your information. Of course, do as you will. And now the timeline continues. Stuck. And we're gonna save, because that's normally the end of the chapter, so let's just save here. Matea and Hugo have been slain. And it would seem that peace has been restored to the world. Oh, Lipti, you're actually wrong. <laughs> right, chat? That's actually not correct. They didn't update the dialogue to designate the fact we didn't kill Hugo this time. But I'm sorry. It's not over yet. Indeed, Lipti. We have a lot more to go. Just in case. Let's go save. I think they forgot, chat. <laughs> They, 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 oops, forgot to say that we didn't kill the character. Yeah, we got to here. See, we skipped the an end to madness. We didn't have to do the boss fights. We still have one more. I know, I'm surprised he wasn't mad at us. I'm also disappointed. Anyway, let's go back to completing the side stuff. Are you going to say welcome back? Great timing. Glad you could join me, Stock. Let's both do our best today. Oh, we didn't get any new quests. So there's only two left, chat. We're almost done. At least for now. There will be stuff after we beat the game, of course. Lost Prosperity. There's a lovely reading coming from this possible world's imperial ruins. It might have some historic significance, so I'll be joining you on this one if you don't mind. Reward. Growth book. Also, chat, we still have never used the growth books. I might never use them, to be honest with you. I could use this to fix uh, Rasha's levels if I really wanted to, but... Spoilers, I don't, I don't care. It's fine. We're, we're over leveled at this point. Ready for your next assignment? Just by going for 100% side quests. Did we ever use the death pact? 
Uh, yes. I don't remember what skill it gave, though. Ott's been abusing something this whole time, but it, yeah, we got the death pack used. Your next field trip is in the Imperial Ruins of Another World. It could have archaeological significance, so I'd like to come with you. Is that okay? If that's what you want. But why haven't you investigated it before? I've wanted to for a while, but the monsters there are just too fearsome for me to go alone. But I've got nothing to worry about with you there, right? That's right. I'll take care of any monsters that dare disrupt us. I knew I could count on you. Well, let's get going. Here we are, the Imperial Ruins. <gasps> What's the matter? You seem a little more subdued than usual. Whatever do you mean? Every other time you've started our trips together with a rant about the local history. <laughs> I can start now if you'd like. Perhaps later. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Ah, the prism is reacting. It shouldn't be too far away. I guess I guess chat we have a we have another quandary. Do I choose characters that are appropriate for the boss or just man mode through the boss again? <laughs> Technically, this upcoming boss is weak to fire, so I should be spamming fire magic on the protagonist, or I could just ignore that. <laughs> I think we're high enough level that I could get away with ignoring it. Then let's get this excavation underway. Into the ruins we go. Got some time to think about it. Before we go too much further. <laughs> it's not not put Marco on the party. Like a funny funny joke game, right chat? Also, Rosh is almost at 600 health. What a what a beast chat. <laughs> Anyway, I'm feeling a lot less concerned for beating the game here. I might just man mode the final boss at this rate. So I'm a much, much higher level than I would have thought. I think when I originally played the game, I was only 40 or so when I got to the final boss. But due to doing the possible histories, the protagonist is at 51. So Gothka is about where I was when I beat the game normally. Rosh is still a little under leveled. That's fine. Oh, hello. Look, there are pages here. They're tattered, but I think I can make out a few fragments. What did they say? Just a second. Let's see here. With the power of Thaumatek, a small nameless country united the continent under one banner. Marco wants to prove himself if only he is capable of it. He's got maybe one major role to play for the rest of the playthrough, and that's in the boss rush. And then we're not going to use him. Possibly for the rest of the game. This new empire could see into the future, allowing them to win the battle to unify Vancor. That's what I can make out. It's all into the future. That would have been thanks to the White and Black Chronicles. Does it say anything else? Sorry, but I don't think I can make out anything else here. Maybe we should look elsewhere. So, this whole place actually has no monster encounters, funny enough, until the boss. So, if we had missed any items, we could take this opportunity to explore this dungeon without any enemies, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. The Scholar's Nature has been added to the White Chronicle. So we're just playing a game of find the goal. I think over here is the first one. Here it is. Look, Stock, the remains of an old book. It's not much, but I think I can make out some words. Let's see here. Okay, 
I'll summarize when I can. The Emperor and the Empress had two children, both of whom were taught the art of Thaumatech. But that somehow led to the Empire's greatest tragedy. That tragedy must be referring to the desertification. Well, I suppose that's the most logical conclusion. Makes me wonder how exactly those children caused it. If we want to learn more, we'll need to find more clues. Let's keep exploring. Oh, there it is. Oh, this book cover is torn off, but I can decipher a bit of what it says. Go for it, Anessia. Leave it to me. Let's see. Suddenly, calamity struck the Emperor, Empress, and Princess. No sooner had that happened than Mana began to disappear from the Earth itself. The Lone Prince searched for a way to save his family and Mana itself, only to finally fail. I think that's the only info worth repeating here. The prince mentioned there must be Prince Allium, the founder of Grand Orc. Presumably, it would make sense. And those are all the details you can glean from it. Unfortunately. I see. Now, where should I look next? I've already got stock with me, so maybe I'll go further in. What about the artifact? That is why we came here, after all. Oh, of course. I just got a little bit absorbed in my field research. I didn't forget about our mission. I've kept an eye on my artifact readings this entire time, too. Does that mean you have an idea of where it is? Yeah, but it's strange. It keeps shifting in location, even when we're standing perfectly still. Perhaps the artifact is on the moon. Ah, that would explain it. Oh, it stopped, and it's not far from here. This is our chance, then. Let's go. Scholar's signature has been revised on the White Chronicle. We don't need to read the dialogue for those particular notes. I think chat doesn't really need a summary every time we go there. So, now we're just looking for the enemy that holds it. So, I guess we could try to man mode it. I'll do a safety save so I don't have to go through that dialogue again. I think it's in the middle. It might be in the northwest somewhere. Okay, good. Let me guess. That monster has the artifact? Look, chat, it's a bear, according to the game. I'd say that's a solid theory. All right. Stand back, Nemesia. You don't need to tell me twice. Break a leg, stock. Okay, we should be fine. As long as I swap my party, we're good. We did. Okay. I won't lose. Uh, let's see how much damage the boss does. Ooh, it's power charging. Uh, I'm gonna risk another turn here. Let's see how much damage it does. That was kind of bad, but I think we could. Do I think we're okay. Um. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give up a protagonist turn because he does the least amount of damage. I'm actually just gonna do a low heal here and let the boss go one more time. Welcome back, Broccoli okay. Dave. Well done. Yeah, that. Oh, see, had I not done that, that would have been kind of scary. But anyway, I think it's over. GG to boss here. We're gonna might herb Gothka, and we are going to absolutely dump on this enemy. So I think changing the speed around has actually been really useful for me, since Gothka is getting exactly three turns, which is what I want. Um, with this kind of team up where we just build the combo with haste mode and then we finish with Gothka. And we'll try to do... I don't know if we can launch him in the air. I'm still going to do this because it lowers defense. Let's go for it, chat. If it doesn't launch in the air, I'm a little concerned if we'll kill or not, but I'm going to go and assume it will launch even though he's a big target. We'll see though. Here you go. Here's a special one. Here's a special one. So again, we're building up the combo damage. Here's a special one. 
This'll leave a mark. Eat this. Ooh, big damage. Okay, we can't launch him. Too slow. We should still be fine though. How about this? Too slow. Thank you, Gafka. <laughs> GG. Looks as though we've won. <sighs> this is a special one. Uh, unfortunately, that we couldn't launch the target because it's too big. We could have dealt more damage, but that's fine. We tamed the red fossil. Artifact retrieved. A plus for your hard work. I know the enemies that are on the three by three can't be launched, but that one wasn't technically like I, we've launched weirder things. I'll put it that way, but I guess we know for the future. Well then, it's about time we headed back to the Dunamis. What? You're done investigating? Honestly, I could spend forever on field research. But we got what we came for, so let's call it a day. Understood. Inquiry has been added to the White Chronicle. And we're back. Not only did we get an artifact, but it was quite an educational field trip. Glad to hear you enjoyed yourself. Here, take this before I forget. Handed over the red fossil. Thanks. You've helped me out in more ways than you know. Quest completed. Growth book. Don't care about that. I just care about the healing. All right, chat. Heal, heal me. Thank you. Hmm. Sock almost is 600 HP, so we are very subtly improving in power. Uh, wow, 109 defense. That is really high, and 101 magic. Pretty strong stats. Welcome, Sock. What assignment will you take on this time? Oh, are we actually finally done with all of the possible histories? Eternal Prosperity. This one will be taking you to the Imperial Ruins, but something seems off. Figure out what you can and get the artifact. Reward is another 12,000. I mean, that's like 20 might herbs. I don't need that much to beat the game. The artifact in the next world is around the Imperial Ruins, but something feels off. How do I put it? It's just not normal. None of the possible worlds so far have been normal, Nemesia. That's not what I mean. There's an artifact reading, but sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. I've never seen anything quite like it. Either way, I'll have to head in and figure out what's going on. Will you be joining me? I know how valuable the Imperial Ruins are to your research. I'd like to go with you, but I think I'll stay here this time. Honestly, it's creeping me out. If you run into any problems, though, make sure to come back. Better safe than sorry. All right. I suppose I'll just head in by myself, then. Please do. Oh, and if you dig up any info on the Empire, I'd love to know about it. Straight up friend zoned. True. Possible history, eternal prosperity. We're back here again. And this might be the last one, actually, completely. I don't think this unlocks anything else. These are definitely the Imperial Ruins. But I don't understand what's going on. Why are there so many people here? Either way, Nemesia said there's an artifact somewhere nearby. Protagonist ever had a chance? Probably true, Murphy. She's going for Fennel. It's true, she heard Fennel's voice actor, it's all over. I should start by gathering information. This game seems cool, though. Is this just a random playthrough? What do you mean by random playthrough? I mean, I've beaten the game before. I wanted to show off the game a little bit, but we usually do JRPGs other than PSO. Yes. Imperial Citizen says, life is good here in the Empire. Thanks to Imperial Sorcerers, our lives are vastly improved. The Emperor has two children. The future is looking bright. What do you mean, fading out? Oh, we... popped him from existence. Yes. 
Yeah, I've played through this before. We do a mix of games I haven't played before and I was interested in, or games that I grew up on. This is one of the one of the last games that I played on the handhelds. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Once we became an empire, the wars raging across the continent ended at long last. In a time of peace, we have nothing to worry about. How can I help you? Nothing especially interesting has happened recently, but I do have some juicy gossip. <laughs> The princess has taken a sorcerer as her paramour. They're quite a couple, but the emperor will probably never approve. Ah. We were once a small nation, but our magical tome allowed us to unify the continent. Because of its dark binding, we call it the Black Chronicle. But you should already know that, being a citizen here. Mm -hmm. Imperial caster. The emperor is a thaumatech practitioner himself. He spares no expense in studying it. And once he unlocks the secret art of flux, then... Oh dear, I've said far too much. Please, forget I said anything at all. You love the footsteps noise. We'll walk around a little bit. Glad you're enjoying it so far, Broccoli Dave. Um, do you need something? I can tell you're staring at me. The quadruple question mark character replies to us with dot to dot to dot dot dot. Wait, Nemesia? No, it can't be. Dot to dot to dot dot dot. Hmm. I got teleported. What's going on here? I could have sworn that girl looked like a young Nemesia too. Case Fast has been added to the White Chronicle. Uh oh, chat. We're getting her background finally. We don't know much about her, even though we've talked to her quite a few times. Indeed. Our long years of research and development have produced a new mobile armament, Thaw Machines. Now we can finally eradicate the rebel faction in Atolia. None can oppose us. Glory to the Empire. Long live the Emperor and Empress. Yes. It's Alium is young, but he's shown a real knack for politics. He lends his ear to the people, proposes public charity works, and even helps with the beast kind. Hopefully soon, the Emperor will retire to a symbolic title, and Alium will rule. Let's see, nobody to talk to over here. Yes. I was on my way to work not long ago when I witnessed a bewildering sight. Among the middle-aged to elderly sorcerers gathered at the palace were two young children. Perhaps they were the two prodigies. Everyone calls the Thaumatech twins. Mm. Yes. Our land has prospered thanks to Thaumatech, but I wish it could be applied to household goods. If cooking and laundry could be automated, the lives of the peasantry would improve too. I should send a letter to the Empress. I'm sure she would understand. Of course. Thaumatech research is top secret. We common folk can't even imagine what they're up to. But as long as they produce results, I don't mind being left in the dark. Yeah, they need more air fryers, exactly. Laundry machines and air fryers, let's go. Yet rumors have it, there's a giant underground research facility. And inside of it... Yes. They're Imperial Majesties or Thaumatech Masters who transcend time. They are akin to gods. By pledging their faith in these divine rulers, the citizens of the Empire live in prosperity. Praise be our new gods, Akel Lagia and Lupidus. May they reign eternal. I guess it's Achillagia? Maybe it's that. Suck to this person. There you are. Is that you, Nemesia? Dot da dot da dot dot dot. Why aren't you saying anything? Don't you need something from me? Dot da dot da dot dot dot. Yeah, that's the big machines. You saw a little bit of that earlier. This again. But essentially, it drains life force from the earth. That much we know about it. So Fennel has a partially mechanic slash thumb attack body. Why does this world's Nemesia keep showing up? 
It seems like she wants me to do something. Guess the only way to find out is by meeting up with her again. Case faster than revised on my chronicle. I love that they seal off the place so you can't backtrack to other portions of the dungeon. Oh, okay, so the hidden passageway is there. Yeah, by the way, chat, th that is such a- th this hidden room is so BS. I'm glad I remember that from the original playthrough. Guys, yeah, though, only have her to talk to now. Oh, I highly recommend it, Broccoli Dave. It's quite fun. Please, Nemesia. I need you to tell me why you're doing this. Our playthrough, we've basically skipped 90% of random encounters. So originally it was a low-level playthrough, but because we're doing all the side quests, I'm more or less caught up to the level we should have been for the boss had we been fighting every enemy on the way there. Messia dot dot dots us. The prism. It's sensing an artifact nearby. You obtain the black hourglass. Interesting it's not the red hourglass. So you really are Nemesia. An A-plus answer. You are my final hope. Please, help me. Yeah, we're pretty comfortable with the combo system. There's like a couple nuances I think I forgot in the playthrough, but overall we've been abusing things like our might and magic herbs and also Ott, and also abusing Thunder Charm on Ott so we don't need to level at all. So... We only had two two sessions where basically we leveled on random enemies. And even then we specifically chose which ones to fight. You haven't seen the combat yet, but basically the enemies are in the overworld. And we have a spell that lets us avoid all encounters. So when we eventually do... Th Actually, I don't think I'll need to use it until we beat the game. Since there won't be any reason for me to go to dungeons and stuff like that. It is an A plus answer. Anyway, she's gone now. Nemesia, wait! She wants help, huh? From past to future has been added to the White Chronicle. Welcome aboard, Stock. I take it you got the artifact back? Without much trouble, yes. Here. Handed over the black hourglass. This puts us one step closer to stopping the desertification. Thank you. That's completed. We got even more money that I don't need. So tell me more about the ruins. Did anything creepy happen? Yeah. The memories left behind in the ruins had taken the forms of actual living people. Indeed, so the whole reason we have the time travel is to stop the world from turning into a desert. But the only way we know how to stop it currently is to sacrifice our lives in a ritual, which we don't want to do, but something has to be done, so we'll see what we actually do. Welcome, Kirk. I was gonna say, chat, do I dare go for the boss rush? It seems the citizenry was quite happy with life under the Empire. I suppose Imperial Thaumatech benefited everyone, not just the Empire's royal family. That appeared to be the case. Sounds like the artifact gave form to the residual thoughts of the people who live there. Either way, how mysterious. An A-plus investigation stock. What was even more mysterious was that you were there too. Uh, what? Missy and that other world asked me to help her. No possible worlds exist on a different plane from our own, but they still affect each other. It may mean the, the Messia of this world wants something to need, wants someone to lean on as well. Really? I'm here for you, Nemesia. Uh oh. What? What does that mean? You get an F minus for weirding me out. <laughs> there we go, chat. We got the F minus. You're almost expecting Dallas to show up. Maybe Calvisham. Hey, Nemesia. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. All this time, I've been gathering artifacts for you. And all that help has been invaluable to my research. 
What would you like to know? So now that we cleared them all out, we're getting additional plot as to why we were doing this in the first place. Well, what are you planning to do with these artifacts? <sighs> That's... Dot, 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 dot. As you know, the desertification began when someone in the Empire caused a terrible accident. What I haven't told you is that as we speak, a certain something is draining mana from the land. And that loss of mana is what's causing the desertification. Yes, and only by defeating it can the drainage stop for good. The artifacts are the tools needed for that. They're like the cogs of a greater machine. What? Are you saying they form some kind of weapon? Hmm. You could call it that. I might suggest an alternate word choice, however. I would call it a relic. One not unlike your own. Its name is the Red Chronicle. Dun, dun, dun. There's more than one chronicle. Another chronicle? The black and white chronicles can grant visions of the past and future respectively, while the red chronicle lets its user gaze upon the infinite possibilities of other worlds. Infinite possibilities? Does that mean... <laughs> Extra credit for figuring it out so quickly. What? What can this mean? What could this mean, Chan? But another mishap left the Red Chronicle scattered and torn. Only these artifacts can fix it. So you need them to restore the Red Chronicle. Bingo. On that note, this very ship is an artifact itself. Bet you didn't figure that out. You're right about that. I never would have expected the Dunamis to hold such a secret. Anyway, I've recovered more than a few artifacts thanks to you. Yet... It's still not enough to fully repair the Red Chronicle. Well, I've come with you this far. I may as well stick with it until the very end. That's the spirit stock. Red Chronicle has been added to the White Chronicle. Let's go ahead and save. So I think that's all of them. We'll verify right now. Let's put on our thing. So there are no more quests. So as a reminder, chat, we cleared all of these. That's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> right, chat? A lot, a lot. Now, I don't think we could get the reward again, unfortunately. We can go refight bosses if we want to. Aboard. So we're done with her. I guess we continue? I mean, in theory, I could beat the game in this session if I wanted to. I might need to take a little bit of a break, though, in between. You can't help but think stock is slowly sitting severely after being ambushed in Chapter 1, maybe. So you can see there's still 17 more nodes, but there's nothing else we could do here for now. Something has to happen after the Red Chronicle. And the blue and the green ones have to be discovered, something like that. So... Do I bother cleaning up anything else? Do I just go for the end of the game here? I guess what I'll do from a content perspective, we'll do a little bit of a break here. We're going to continue to stream, but we're going to pause, I think, in the YouTube video since I feel like this was pretty self-contained. I'm going to keep all the po possible histories together. So let, let's give a little send off to YouTube chat before we continue. So how do we feel about the quest that we've viewed so far? Well, we got more fennel and that makes chat happy. And that's the only thing that's important. But unfortunately for YouTube, we're at the point in the video of the VOD that many of you watching the stream currently are aware of, and that is saying goodbye to YouTube. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.